there a test that can be done to see if they're staph aureus, or we usually just know that they're staph during a, a flare? Yeah, I mean, so technically you can culture the skin and wait and grow out staph or whatever's on the skin. It can it can take seven plus days. There's a couple problems though, that mostly in order to culture things, we need a wet sample. So if you have a, an actual like infection and it's oozing and stuff, then your doctor is going to be able to swab something wet and culture it out. But we can't culture a dry skin. I never, I mean, I rarely would order the skin to be cultured because I think we can just, I can presumptively assume that there is an overabundance of staph on the skin and treat it. Now, if let's say somebody actually has a skin infection and we make an assumption that it's staph aureus and we treat with a certain antibiotic and the person's not responding, that would be a really good time then to culture the lesion and find out what the organism is that's causing this full-blown infection so that you can get the right antibiotic to it. But for my eczema patients, we don't really tend to do much culturing.